Okay guys, so as you can see we've got the 15 amp Burko Linear Variac project all finished and complete, all the sides back on and uh, ready for some load testing and also some idle current testing or quiescent current testing. So we'll be measuring the, uh, the input current as there's nothing plugged in, so just literally what the Variac draws. So um, as you can see, I've got the Variac also running off the linear Variac there that we're using to stop the inrush from tripping the breaker at the moment. And we've also got a ammeter, just an ammeter there which is sensitive to the milliamp. And also we got a ammeter and a voltmeter over the back there which is good for measuring the load afterwards and also the voltage for the quiescent test because I tested that at 250 volts last time so we'll do the same again and we'll see what we get. Hopefully it'll be the same. So, yep, that's ready to go. So I'll just uh, turn the rotary variac on and we'll route that up slowly. You can see the voltage increasing on the voltmeter. So I'll take that up to 250 volts, which is about there-ish. So, as you can see now that's at 204, uh, 250 volts and we've got about 520 milliamps. So that was about the same, if not identical, to what it was before the actual restoration project. So that hasn't changed at all. The uh, the reason why it's so high, guys, is because of the fact that the Variac is it's huge. It's got a massive iron core in there. And as you can hear, that's actually vibrating away because it's only suspended from either end. That actually allows it to vibrate quite a lot, which, which amplifies it quite a lot. And that actually causes the um, quiescent current to actually rise. And yeah, it's got huge magnetic field around it as well. That's all drawing power as we speak. And also there's heat loss on that as it's doing not very much. So that heat is also power. So uh, yeah, that's about half an amp, guys. Whereas the uh, the rotary variac over there is about 260, 270 milliamps. So it's about half, half the actual um, quiescent current of this one here. So that's interesting but that also makes sense because it's it's less than half the size this is like about three times the size probably like weight for weight this one's probably about three or four times the weight as well so yeah it's forgivable half an amp you know guys so yeah about 120 watts but it's a bit of a monster so yeah <laughs> that's why so right if I take that back down guys and change over a couple of plugs then we will measure the load with the 2 kilowatt heater that I've got just down there ready to plug in. Okay guys so I'll just uh, swap those things around. Okay guys so as you can see I've taken the covers off of the Variac and I've also plugged it in a different arrangement now so I can actually load test that. So we've got the rotary variac you can see over the corner there that is supplying voltage then at mains 250 volts into the linear variac and out from the linear variac we're going into the power meter which is volts and amps and then out from there we are going down to the 2 kilowatt heater so we'll be load testing that at 2 kilowatts thereabouts so that should change over to that one and then yeah so that'll be cool and uh, obviously guys, don't try this at home because we're running exposed live parts here. you got to know what you're doing before you open stuff up like this. But I'd, I thought I'd do it as a demonstration so you guys can see the uh, the inner workings of it. Because it's actually not fair to cover that up. It's just, just so nice. It's just so beautiful, you know. So, yeah, can't be covering that up. So I'll, uh, I'll increase the input voltage. Turn it on. Increase the input voltage up to mains, which is... 100% there, so that should be around about 240, 250 volts now. I'm not measuring it, so I can't tell for sure. It changes a little bit. And then uh, I will take the voltage of this linear variac now up to 100%, so you'll see the volts and the amps increase as I do that. So ever so slowly, ever so carefully, guys. Put my hands well away from those live parts because the bars, the commutator, and all of the, uh, the nuts and bolts on the wires are also live. So there you go, you can see it's drawing 2 amps already, voltage is going up slowly, following, and then it's going up to just past 3.5 amps, 4 amps, 100 volts, 
couple of amps. Fifty volts, six amps. Then you do that. Coming up to two hundred volts, probably about eight amps there, I think. And we're approaching our mains voltage, which happens to be about two hundred and thirty at the moment, guys, or two twenty-five. We can actually increase that a little bit to make it fair. Go bring it up to two fifty. There you go. So the input voltage is two fifty. And then that's going through this very act to 100%. So 250 again, that's drawing about 9 but nine amps on the heater. And yeah, that's running beautifully. There's no problems there running that up. So it's handling it fine. It can handle another kilowatt on top of that, just by the way, guys. But my meter only goes up to 12, it's about 13. And yeah, I could have done it, but yeah, we don't want to use light bulbs and stuff as well because it's just too bright for the camera. But yeah, as you can see, that's running the key 2 kilowatt heater down the bottom there. Nice and easily near it all humming away there, it's all working pretty hard <laughs> so yeah that runs nice and smoothly so I'll take that back down now guys all the way back down past 200 volts 150 100 volts 50 volts, right back down to zero. There you go, and I'll take this one down. Let the hum fade, <laughs> and switch that off. And that is it, guys. And unplug just to be safe. There we go. So that is it, guys. All uh, all tested. Happy as it was just before, but even better now because it's nice and clean. It's nice and new. As you can see, I'll zoom in on the parts there. So, literally stripped this all down, took it all apart, cleaned it all up, and then put a graphite on it, stuck it all back together, and then that is good to go. And um, I was talking to Erland uh, on Google Plus at some point, he was talking about actually putting a power factor correction on it a capacitor similar to that guy over there so uh, I'll calculate that for this and see if we can get that quiescent current down actually because that would be quite a good idea you know so we'll try that and also another thing I wanted to try or do on this is actually put a perspex cover over it so it actually you can see it working as you're using it so I thought that'd be quite cool so um, I might actually get around to bending some perspex and putting that round so it's got no live exposed parts and you can see it working as you use it so that will be quite cool since it's just too nice to hide away really and I'll just put the uh, the original covers out the way for now really since they are the original covers so but yeah that would be nice to run like that anyway uh, I'm not quite sure where I'm going to put it yet I'm guessing somewhere in my panels my, uh, my control panels, power panels over the back there you can see they're actually data cabinets, you know, they do IT type stuff, but they double up really good as power panels for doing kind of stuff, this kind of stuff here, so that would be quite cool. So I might stick it in or on one of those, that would be quite cool, since it's a 15 amp variac, and uh, I haven't really got one of those over there. I've got some big, big variacs, but not really a medium sized variac like these. And then the 15 amp there is just for the workbench, really, that sits over here quite happily, so that would be quite cool. So, um, yeah, that'll be that'll be future projects for this guys, but you won't see it for a little while now because I'll be working on this guy over here, which is the vacuum tube Tesla coil there guys. It's running on a little 811 and I'll be uh, that's like a breadboard type setup, so that's literally for experimenting. It's all well spaced out so I can add components, so I can erase components, so I can play around with uh, values and things and see what I can get out of it. So that's just laid out ready to be wired up now guys, as you can see. So that's the progress on the VTTC project for next, which you'll see in uh, up and coming videos coming soon guys. So yep, yeah, look forward to that and uh, we'll look forward to seeing this Ferriac in up and coming future videos, but not just quite yet. But yeah, that's about it guys, so I uh, hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all again next time and uh, take it easy guys. Cheers. Bye.
Nice.